Aramark. The American company privately contracted by the Irish government to run three direct provision centres received 5.5 million euro in funding last year. Recently, the University of Limerick decided to boycott Aramark catering services on campus after a mother in direct provision, who's also a UL student, was refused milk and bread for her sick child. After the announcement of the boycott, flyers from Aramark entitled The Facts began to show up on campus, defending the company. This also happened last semester in Trinity College, Dublin, when students decided to boycott the catering services backed by Aramark there. I spoke to UL student Clodagh Gurren, whose article for UL's student paper on Fuckle received national media attention. In the news recently, there was a case of a woman who was denied food and milk for her baby. And she is a current UL student and it made national news. And that's a direct provision centre that's close to Limerick. It's called Mount Trenchard. Basically, we're boycotting Aramark because students don't feel comfortable sponsoring that kind of mistreatment and that kind of behaviour. And if we can't support our own students, then who can we support, really? By responding in any shape or form, be it verbally or by pamphlet, like by getting their caterers and their baristas to hand out these pamphlets, it shows that our voices are being heard and that they do feel the pressure. They're feeling the effect of this boycott or else they wouldn't have felt the need to respond. But I think students are wiser and no pamphlet is going to like distract students from the truth that they are playing such a huge role in the mistreatment of vulnerable people, basically. The silence on the issue was deafening, and I was sick of it. And like, I work for on Focus, so I had the platform to voice this opinion, and I was just happy that I was facilitating discussion. This is Marianne Foody for DCU TV News.